I'm with Julie Fassbender, and Julie normally has a, a different hat on than she's going to be wearing today. Today we're going to be talking about the upcoming Boats and Bluegrass Festival, and Julie, thanks for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. So how long have you been uh, putting this festival on, you and a host of others? We are celebrating our 10th year this wow. year, so a full decade in. I remember the, the first year attendance wasn't too bad, but it's kind of yep. really steamrolled over the last few years. Yeah, we've really tried to kind of plan for slow and steady growth that's predictable and so that we can retain the experience for the guest and not have it get too out of hand. And what's uh, great is the music is nearly continuous. You have a couple of different stages. Yep, it is continuous. There are two stages and so we have a great sound and production crew, and so as soon as the music is off on one stage, it's starting on the other stage, and it's really, it's like magic. They do a good <laughs> job out there. So it is, yeah, all, all day music constantly, and there's lots of other fun things that happen as well, magicians, and we have some um, fire spinners and fire performances, and so there's some neat little things that happen throughout the weekend as well. And just kind of staying with the with the whole uh, atmosphere out there. There's uh, you can it's at Prairie Island, it's so at Prairie you can Island. camp yep. out there as well if you'd like. Yes, yeah, so we actually prefer people to camp so that they can kind of experience the whole the whole event. And you know, there's music that happens through the night. There's people you know picking together in the mornings and sharing breakfast and stories and making new friends. And it's a it's a cool atmosphere. So. Now let's get to this year's festival. When is it going to be? Yep, it's September 25th, which begins on Thursday, and we go through Sunday with music. So. And that, if you're going to have continuous music for four days, you must have mm -hmm. a lot of bands. There are a lot of bands, <laughs> and we have an outstanding lineup. We have so many great artists that are coming, and it'll be it'll be a good year. I noticed Charlie Parr was on the bill. Again yep, Charlie Parr, he's a good Winona kind of local character, so we always like to have him come. And we have the Shook Twins, which are a, um, they're a pair from the Oregon area, and they're just great and quirky and have a wonderful stage presence and are quite fun. And Pertner Sandstone will headline. We have Horseshoes and Hand Grenades again. Um, yeah, just on and on and on and on and on and on. And I was looking through the list of bands, and I was just entertained by some of the names. Yeah. Uh, some, a lot of creativity. There is, yeah. We have the Pistol Whip and Party Penguins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was probably my favorite. It uh, is a good name, and, and they're fabulous musicians. So, yeah, there are some really, there are some good names in there. Now, we'll get a, I'll just kind of hold it up. We'll get a better shot of yeah. this for you here. But uh, kind of a... A, a, well, it's on the Mississippi, so yep. but maybe river creature. Yeah. I don't know. It's just like, yeah, little mysterious a, creature theme. Yeah. So is this a, a kraken? It looks like a kraken, kraken. or an octopus. Or... Yes, kraken. That one is. So, <laughs> yep. So people should bring their their sea wear along <laughs> when they come out. <laughs> their deep sea gear. Their deep sea know. gear, and that might be a little uncomfortable <laughs> uh, to watch some of them, some of that, but uh, right. especially if it gets a little warm. <laughs> right. Uh, and that's the other thing, you do have a, a lot of amenities there on site, mm -hmm. don't you? Yep. Yeah, we um, put up tents and uh, it turns into a little city out there, which is kind of fun to see it get built. We have a lot of really dedicated volunteers who have been helping us out for years and, and new volunteers as well. And it's great to see kind of a community of people come out and, and build a city out there. and hang out and have the weekend together and then help take it down. Turn. And I was last year, the year before I was there, and you get a lot of people there, but the vibe is just really laid back and uh, mm -hmm. it's not it's not like your typical concert, it doesn't no, feel like. No, it really isn't. There's a, I think with the amount of people that we have at the festival and the kinds of people that we're attracting and the environment that's being set, it is, it's really neighborly you know, sort of everybody knows somebody. And so there's a nice level of accountability and sharing and, and connectivity that happens. And I think, I think that's a huge part of why people talk about how it feels to be at the festival, that it means it's not just coming to see music. There's, there's something more there. And, and that's really what the guests bring to the table. So. Now, how do we get tickets? Yeah, you can get tickets at boatsandbluegrass.com. 
And there's a link on the, or a tickets um, link on the page, and it's all online and digital, so you can go on and get them. We did sell out last year, and we're anticipating um, selling out again this year. So there are about, um, I think there are about 150 tickets left, so not oh. very many. So get out there and yeah. start clicking online. Yep, right. get them quick. All right, Julie, thanks for joining us yep. today. Thanks for having me.